Welcome to the branch ordering video tutorial for iMindMap 5. Today we're going to look at what branch ordering is, why you should be using it and finally how you should use it. Let's start with examining what it is. As the name suggests, branch ordering allows you to order your branches. It also allows you to reorder your branches into a sequence for you to use within your mind map or for other tools. Looking at why you should use this, if you are using some of the following tools, you may want to set or reorder your branches to flow in a particular sequence. So if you are using tools such as Presentation View, Project View, or many of the exports such as Export to PowerPoint or Presentation, Export to Spreadsheet, for example Excel, Export as a Word document or a Writer document, a PDF or even a web page. Branch ordering will allow you to reposition or reorder your branches so that they can follow in a logical sequence. Let's take a look at how you can order your branches. First of all, it is important to point out that your branches are ordered for you automatically. Branch ordering adopts the order in which your branches are created. So, if I created branch Y first, this will be ordered as my number one branch. If the second branch I created was this what branch, this would be labelled branch number two. However, when you're mind mapping, you don't necessarily or create your branches in the order in which you would like them to appear. So branch ordering will allow you to customise the order, making sure the sequence is logical for you. If you are a Windows user, you will be able to find this in the side panel to the right hand side of the workspace. If you click on outline and pin this open, this is the area we are going to examine. If you're a Mac user, you will also be able to find the outline panel, but this time it will be in the inspector. So on your main toolbar, click on inspector and then select outline. For both types of user, you will find a similar panel to this being displayed. It is set out in two separate areas. The top is the outline. Now this actually provides you with a text hierarchy of your mind map. Let's have a look at this in closer detail. I'm going to zoom out so you can see my mind map as well as the outline side panel. You will see at the top of the text hierarchy is branch ordering. Now this is my central idea text. You will also see two sections here and if I scroll down you'll see a third and these are representing my main branches so we've got what, we've got why and right at the bottom we've got how. Under these main headings you will also see a list of other branches in the text hierarchy so we've got reorder then branches and then the two final child branches mind maps and tools so you should be able to easily see that this text list represents your mind map onto the left hand side here now you can reorder your branches using the text outline section here on the right hand side for example, I may want my Y branch to appear first when I'm presenting. So to do that, there are two different ways I can complete that action. If I right mouse click, you will see at the bottom here I've got the move up option or move down. By clicking move up, you will now see that Y appears first in the text hierarchy and what becomes the second. I can just do that again, so if I click on what this time, I'm going to select move up and again this will just reverse the order, so what will become first and why second. You've also got another way of moving your branches and moving the order and this is by dragging and dropping. So if I was to click this time on Y so it's highlighted and drag, you can see that the rest of the text hierarchy is in grey and I can simply drop the Y before the what and it's reversed the order so Y now becomes my number one. You can do these to any of the child branches 
So you've got complete flexibility in order to change your branch structure and your branch ordering. One quick thing to note is what you'll probably see is when I click on a branch in the outline panel, this actually becomes highlighted in my mind map. Vice versa, if I click on a branch in my, on my mind map, this highlights on the outline panel. So it's very easy to match up the two. Another very useful visual guide when you're branch ordering is the order icons. As default, these are switched off, but you will see under the show ordering icons, I can simply turn these on. By zooming in slightly, what you should see is that each of my branches has a number placed on it, and this represents the order. So the order in which my branches will appear if I'm using a tool such as presentation view or project or any of the export options. So if I zoom in a little bit closer, you will see my Y branch has got the number one on there, which is number one in the list. And my what branch has got number two, which represents that it's the second main branch to appear. By looking at the child branches, you can also see that the orders one, two and three are represented in the list. If I wanted my presentation branch up here to appear first, I'm just going to simply drag and drop that. It changes in the outline panel and it also changes on my mind map here. So the branch ordering icons are a really, really useful tool when you're branch ordering. Finally, there are two further options within the outline panel that are very useful. This will allow you to update the ordering in two specific ways. The first one will allow you to update the branch positions from the outline ordering. So, for example, if I wanted my mind map to visually match up with the order that I set in the outline panel, I can do that by clicking on this button. So here you can see that the Y branch is going to appear number one in the list and what is going to appear second. If I want to visually match my mind map up with that order, I can simply click on this button. And what you will see is my mind map switches over using Smart Layout so that my Y branch is appearing the first branch, number one, and the what branch is number two. Just something to remember is that iMindMap works on a clockwise basis starting at one o'clock and works around. So my, the branch that appears at one o'clock will always be the first branch that appears if you use the update branch positions from the outline ordering. The second option is to update the outline ordering from the branch positions. So this does exactly the same but in the reverse. So if I was to change my branch ordering, sorry, my branch positions on my workspace, this time let's have a look. I will put presentation view before project and maybe my exports number one. So my branch here is showing exports number one, project number two and presentation number three. If I was just to click on the update outline ordering from branch positions, my mind map stays exactly the same, but you will have seen that the numbers on the branches have changed to reflect the actual order that the, the branches are visible. And again, this happens and changes in the outline panel as well. So under Y, you'll see that exports appears number one, project is number two, and presentation is number three. And these new tools are really, really helpful time savers and are particularly good if you prefer to work in a visual way. The last thing to say is if you do get confused or need some extra help, please click on the question mark icon and this will open up the appropriate help file. Hopefully you found this video tutorial useful and I hope you enjoy using branch ordering.